friends welcome back so now we're going to make a second another video for creating the garage so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our entry level and we're going to copy the level and then we're going to paste it so now we have one we're going to call it garage it's going to update you say repath project now so it's going to update the file everywhere every time you change the name it's going to do this because it's updating all the other reference files as well. So now that's done, we're going to go to the properties and we're going to change it from ground level, ground level main building to ground floor entry level garage. We're going to press OK. And once that's done, we're going to open up our file. So now we see we have our, we going to leave this right now we have our drawing that we had before. So now we're going to make our garage. We're going to go from this point, we're going to go up, across, down, and use the close button. We're going to go again from E all the way to E3, all the way to B3, then to B4, and so forth. You'll see it. We're going to go. So the first thing we should do is take a similar wall. So we'll grab this one here, and we're going to use, well, click on the wall like we've done before and we're going to do as selected so we get the same properties we're go, like I said we're going to start from E3 we're going to go up all the way to E I mean B3 click then we're going to go all the way across go all the way down and finally Press C to close it. Good. So now we need to break the wall. So what do we do before? Is we use our home modify tool, break at point. So we're going to select the wall we have, and we're going to break it right over here. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Modify, break at point, grab this part of the wall, and grab the other side. So now that we've divided this wall, we're going to click it and change it to the other side properties. Let's go back to properties and we're going to change the wall back to CMU8 so it looks similar to the other side. Perfect. So we're not going to do erase everything yet because we're going to use the door for example for this side, the window on this side, and we got two more garage doors. So it's quite easier just to keep this for now and delete it afterwards. Good. So now let's go take the door from across of the mud room. We're going to go do as selected and you notice it's going to keep the same properties we had from before but we're going to keep it here we're going to put six inches from the wall and we're going to go here nicely and we're going to click it again if you have the object snaps on it's going to be a little bit harder so we'll turn that off so six inches click so if you don't like the orientation of the door and you want to flip it the other way just click on the door and you're able to flip the door in any direction you want in my case, I want it to open up into the garage. That's good. Now we're going to add two more doors, which are going to be our garage doors. So we're going to go to our tool palette, our design tools, and we're going to look for our doors and go to more door tools. Now that we're here, we're going to go to the fourth page and we're going to go to overhead four window garage door. Right click, oh not right click, sorry, hover over, add the tool palette. And it's going to include it into our list. Now that we've included the garage door, we're going to click on it and we're going to set the following settings. So we should have an 8 foot 2, 7, which is OK, inside frame, 50. We're going to put here no, offset center. S the automatic distance, we're going to put 2 foot 2 from the center threshold. And key thing to remember, we're going to make sure we put it here at minus 6 inches. We're going to now select it, the wall, and we're going to put one garage on this side and make sure you have it going inward. This is the correct way. This way means the garage goes outside. This is where it's fully open, so here's one. And do the same thing to the other side. So make sure it's two foot two, and click. So now we added the two garages. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add two more windows from similar to the ones we have right next to the entrance door. We're going to click on the do window here 
and we're going to do add select. We're going to make sure we have the right information in perfectly. Offset 510, perfect. 3 foot 4, everything looks perfect. Let's go to the side here and just go to the corner and we go 510 on one side. Go to the opposite side and make sure it says 510 on the opposite side. And now we have our two garage doors, our door here, and our two windows. Now that we've completed our doors, let's hit the save button in case something were to go wrong. Good. Good. So now that we've saved it, again I'll save just to double check. Good. We're going to do like we did before, we're going to add our space generator. So we'll go back here, all palettes, or not all palettes, sorry, go back to design, find one, we want to scroll down until we find the all palettes. So we're going to go to Space Generator, and we're going to select the space right over here. Okay. And we're going to open up the properties of that space. But before we did it, we actually did something wrong. So let's control, escape it and control Z. We should, before doing that, is make sure we go back to 1 8. So it's a bigger scale. And now we do the Space Generator, and we're going to select inside the box. And in here, we're going to go change the first thing. We're going to change the name from space to garage. Then we're going to make sure we put the tag. We're going to make sure we have room tag. Okay. Let me just put all caps, actually. Garage. Room tag's perfect. We're going to make sure we take this off. Put no to this object here, and we're going to set in the following information. We're going to go make sure first things first that the garage is going to go a space. Oops, sorry. Let's go here first. Let's adjust the heights. I'm going a little bit too fast. So this should be nine feet. Make sure you're clicking in the box. Nine feet. Nine feet. Nine feet. I don't know why it doesn't let me do it. Okay, something is. Let's see if we change the ceiling height first to eight foot eight. It does let me change it. The floor thickness, we're going to put it to four inches. Oh, we're going ceiling thickness, we're going to go put it to zero. Above, we're going to put zero, and here we're going to leave it eight foot eight. So, see, it didn't let me do it. Exactly, I did it. Now it lets me change it. Before it didn't. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. We just going to make sure we have the right numbers correctly inputted inside. And now that we've done that, the next step we're going to do enter, and we have our garage set. We're going to go look for our tag if it didn't go through. We're going to go to all palettes. We're going to go to tag and we're going to do room tag. And we're just going to click on the tag and place it back. It should automatically keep the same number we had before. All we have left to do is just to rename it again. Click here. And local properties. And call this garage. back to our smaller size. So the only thing left we have to do is we're going to click on the actual hash and we're going to go back down here and make sure that for our elevation we're going to turn off so it's to no and by doing that it allows us to put the elevation minus six inches. This way it has a little bit of a drop inside our drawing. Uh, six feet, sorry. Oh, sorry, this way. Yeah, six inches. My bad. Six inches. Correct. Six feet would be way too big. Sorry about that. So now that that's done, we're going to start erasing some objects. So just double check to make sure. We go scroll down. We have it at negative six inches. Good. So now we're going to open up, close all this. 
let's hit save again we're going to now open up our xrefs so go to the manage xrefs in the corner and we're going to detach the chimney so detach we detach uh, the chimney since we don't want it anymore and we're just going to grab from one corner you're going to select everything except for the wall and you're going to erase it so all we have left is our garage by itself perfect now that we have completed that we're going to hit save so just make sure you have the one two three walls on the side here the garages and everything and the two garage doors and the two windows and the door because the next step we're going to do is we're going to add a roof to our garage so click on roof we're going to make sure we have the correct information so one foot four square overhang two foot three our height is 10 feet and our slope angles 35 okay. once you have that completed always check the number before you jump ahead put back our snaps on and we're going to go from one corner to the next to the next corner to the next and we're going to press c to close and enter so now we have our lovely roof we're going to click on it and we're going to do edit edges so we're going to click on this edge first press enter and we're going to change the slope from 35 to 90 which is going to give us a nice clean flat finish and similar to the other side we're going to grab the point and we're going to stretch it good now if we can open up our 3d view and if i go look you see we have our roof looking much better so now that we've corrected the overhangs, we're going to convert it to an actual roof. So we're going to click on the actual piece and click convert the erased uh, fly underneath. And now we have two lovely roof panels. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to raise the walls. So select one wall, select similar, and we're going to go to our roof line modifier and we're going to do auto project and we're going to click on one two press enter enter there's one and we have to do a similar one to the other wall that we have in the middle so click here auto project for the roof line click the two one two and now we have the wall all the way touching our roof final thing we have to do is we're going to modify the edges on both panels so we're going to click on the edge on the roof go to our edges and like we did on the other parts we're going to add the custom piece we made on the first one press ok see we added it if you look carefully you see it's thicker now add a little foot piece go to the other side edges later on we're going to adjust the material for these things just for now we're, we're not going to waste a little time until we get to that part press ok and now you have the roof Oops. now you have the roof come on one second now you can rotate and you'll notice that everything is complete once that's done all we need to do for our garage level thank you again don't forget to add um, subscribe share comment do what you got to do thank you very much